Welcome back to Book Break. Today I am doing our November book haul. So I've got a very exciting box of books here that I'm going to go through. These are just a selection of some of the books that have come into our office this month. Okay. So the first book in here is The True Queen by Zen Cho. So I haven't read this one or the first book, The Sorcerer to the Crown, but I've heard so much amazing things about these. So these are fantasy novels, but really diverse world, which is really great for fantasy. So this is kind of alternative history set in Regency London, and the two books can be read separately. You don't have to start from the beginning. And I've just heard amazing things from everyone in the office who's read these. Plus it's so shiny. Then we have a new David Baldacci. David Baldacci, of course, is absolutely huge. And this is his new series. This is the second book in that series about special agent Atlee Pine. What we know about her is that she was a twin, and that when she was much younger, her twin was kidnapped from the room they were both sharing. So that's what haunts her from her past. And in this case, she comes across the man that she thinks might know what really happens to her sister. Oh, this one I'm really excited to read. This is Why Are We Yelling by Buster Benson. I've just recommended this one in our gift guide video, which will come out in a few weeks. So this is The Art of Productive Disagreement. Basically, it's all about how to have better arguments without it all just exploding. So that sounds really, really useful for everyone, for all kinds of people. I put this one in the gift guide because I thought it would be such a book to have over Christmas, whether it's to help you argue better with your annoying relatives or for those people that you meet at parties, just how to better handle those situations that we have all been in. The next book I can see in here has been a big one in the office. This is Eddie Jones's autobiography. He actually came into the office the other day and everyone was just going wild, trying to get him to sign copies of the book, sign their shirts. It was just absolutely amazing, so exciting. Next one I can see in here is a thriller. This is Your Truth or Mine. I read this back when the hardback came out absolutely brilliant so it's set between England and India and it's about this married couple and all of the lies that they are hiding from each other it's got so many twists and turns we we're actually just talking about this the other day in the office about what happens at the end and how none of us who had read it ever saw it coming next we have The Secret Chapter by Genevieve Cogman so this is the sixth book in the Invisible Library series I've read one to five I haven't yet read this one I'm so excited it looks brilliant and it's another really fun shiny one so this series is about this alternative reality where there are multiple parallel universes and our main character Irene is a librarian which means that she works for this magical library that connects all the different universes so each book in the series takes place in a different time period and in a different country a different city around the world so the fifth book was set in Paris and we actually made a video all about it where we went to Paris and went to visit some of the most iconic libraries so I will link to that in the description box do go check it out this one is set between the Caribbean and and present day Vienna. So we've got multiple fun locations in here. It doesn't say anything about being under the sea, but it does have an octopus on the front cover. This one I've been so excited to see. This is I Am Perfectly Designed by Karamo Brown from Queer Eye. So this is a children's book created with him and his child Jason, and it's just got this gorgeous message all about learning to love yourself exactly as you are and the parent-child relationship that builds that. And it's got these lovely pictures throughout it of the two of them spending time together. So I think this is just a really delightful book. Next we have Sun Signs by Linda Goodman. So I did a video all about pairing every star sign with their perfect book. So I talked about this book in there. I'll go and link to that video in the description box below. This was the original astrology bible from the 60s and it was actually the first ever book about astrology to become a New York Times bestseller. That's a pretty big deal and now we have these new editions and I just think they're really gorgeous. Now for historical fiction fans, I have Emperor Nero, The Splendor Before the Dark by Margaret George. So Margaret George is just huge in the world of historical fiction. She is most known for writing these epic fictional biographies. Her book on Cleopatra was made into a miniseries and they all have just so much research put into them. So this is her second and the final book about Emperor Nero set in ancient Rome about one of Rome's most scandalous emperors. I don't know anything about this one, but it looks so cool. I love this cover. So this is King Z by Nathaniel Rich and this is set in New Orleans in 1918 and it says when there's an axe murderer on the loose so it seems like it's going to be about the true story of the axe man of New Orleans who basically broke into people's homes and murdered them with their own axes but one night said that if they were playing jazz that night 
that they wouldn't be murdered. So that's this really weird, bizarre, true story, and it seems like that's going to be connected to this book. So that's a really cool setting for a book. This is The New Orleans of Louis Armstrong and the Mafia, and it sounds really exciting. This next one, so this is The Earthquake Bird by Susanna Jones. This is a new cover because this book is coming to Netflix. It's got Alicia Vikander starring in the main role. I really, really want to read this one and then watch it. So the main part that's gonna be played by Alicia Vikander is an English girl named Lucy who is living and working in Tokyo and then becomes the chief suspect in a murder investigation. And while she's being interrogated by the police, we go back and discover all of these secrets from her past. And the last one in here is looking really Christmassy, which is perfect because I'm getting so excited. This is A Midwinter Promise by Lulu Taylor. So Lulu Taylor is the queen of family mysteries set in strange houses and Never to disappoint, we have this amazing looking house on the front cover here in the snow. So we have two timelines in here. In the past, there is a woman named Julia growing up in this beloved family home in Cornwall, but decides to leave and start her own new life in London. And then in the present day, we meet Julia's adult children after Julia has died. And they wanted to inherit this house that their mother loved so much, but it has been mysteriously stolen from them. Their father is now dying, and so if they're gonna find out the secrets of what happened to their mother and this house, time is running out. So that was our November book haul. Do leave a comment below letting me know what books you have hauled this month or what you're most excited from this selection to read. And of course, do give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week. See you next time.